audio jungle. Good day viewers, welcome to Afri's Cassette TV. The headline, Okorocha Uzadima meets Tinubu in Asorok. The news in detail, the Imo State Governor, Opu Zodima, and a former governor of the state, Owa Rochas Okorocha, on Thursday, came together with the presidential villa to meet with the president, Bola Tinobu. Uzodima and Okorocha, who have become political enemies in recent times, arrived at the state house about 6 or 7 p.m. alongside the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Abdullahi Kandije. However, in less than five minutes, the trio came out in company of the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sawolu. Banga Dulaibe gathered that the president had already left the office before their arrival. The trio of Gandije, Uzodima, and Okorocha also went to Vice President Kashim Shetima's office. The president's source said that the APC party chairman, Alhaji Gandije, may take Uzodima who is the chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, is a strange party man, Okorocha and Governor Sawolu to the president resident. Although the agenda of the meeting was made was not made public at the time of filing this report, it may be unconnected to the face-off between Uzodima and Okorocha, who was the governor of Imo State between 2011 and 2019. Recall that the committee set up by the Imo State government on recovery of public property recently indicated Okorocha and some of his political highlights. Remember this old Uzodima named Okorocha's issue, like the matter long, but with the look of things, since they settled it, because um, Op, Governor Op, Uzodima of Imo State, he said he already begged his predecessor Richard Okorocha for forgiveness, and um, Uzodima said he has extended an olive branch to all aggrieved stakeholders in the state, including Okorocha. The governor stressed that he had nothing personal against the Imo West senator, and Uzodima urged those aggrieved to team up with him in working for the state. You know, um, the governor described his predecessor as his brother. Who took over him as a senator. According to him, he said the culture is his brother is occupying the seat he left to Senate, that he has nothing personal against him, and all he's asking is even if he had done anything that does not go down well with anybody or him, that he should forgive and forget that all of them should come together to work for the people. And since the culture and um, the demands, since they experienced their conf um it was the time that they had a first year relationship that some security operative in January arrested Okorocha's son-in-law, that's Uche Uwosu. And after Uche Uwosu's arrest, Okorocha had accused Uzodima of being responsible for the killings of unknown gunmen in the state. Like the matter long, there was this time that they were trying to like, they, they, they just tried to open their yash, that kind of thing. Like they're attacking each other and everything. So I really don't know why there was a meeting in the villa, but it's safe to say that maybe they went because of the upcoming um, gubernatorial election that will take place on the 11th of November this year. So we don't know. We don't know who, who the leaders, <laughs> in quotes, wants to choose because in this our country Nigeria you don't choose them they choose who they want to be in power like they choose they only put it out for you guys to just stretch yourself and go and tick tick or vote but they already know in their mind who they want to be who they want to assume that office so that's why we, we just need to keep praying and we just need to keep fighting for a new Nigeria because all of this has to stop so the um the governor Opus Odima, you know, is eligible for a rerun, but we don't know if he's still going to rerun for for that post in November. So more updates will be brought to light regarding 
that. So um, we have we have like few people commenting on this particular discussion. So Ugochuku says, the guardian of vultures. These men are curses to Imo State and Nigeria. We don't need them in Imo State. We have had enough of men of low intellect and questionable extra in Imo State. We need well-educated, urban, and sophisticated people, not con men, guy men. Sophisticated people. They don't just need people that would wear a badder and come and, you know, be saying, ah, what? The alien each other, basically. So another person, uh, Godfrey, is saying that, make a culture bow now. The game now turn by turn. No. Mm. See, politics is literally a game. Like, it's more like survival of the fittest. If you're not ready, you either go all in or you're out. Like, there's nothing like, oh, um, I want to be, I want to be plain. I want to be this, that. The forefathers decide who becomes the president. Like, if you remember doing Ambo this time, Ambo did that did great works in Lagos. Like, Ambo they did great things. There was even this um, every December show that it does. It brings all celebrities together from the 1st of December to the end of December. So if you are the type that have not seen Tiwa Savage in your life before, during that Ambody regime, as far as you're in Lagos, like for each local government, it brings a celebrity. Like it brought all of them together just to celebrate. It was this, um, you know, this fun governor and everything. And when it was time for them to pull leg over him like conversely <laughs> like it was outrageous the amount of votes that he got like they, they the way they made it look was it not 12 and so only from nowhere just got higher votes like the way they even made him just step down was really embarrassing personally like it was weird very weird so Festus Tomike is saying, if you not like me, now they sleep in the villa. But bear in mind that APC cannot rule Imo State again. Come rain or sunshine. Hmm, my brother, you just need the prayers. Or you need prayers for everything to go smooth that day. On the election day. So you should come out, everybody, men, women, young and old, come out, vote. Don't just stay in your house and say, ah, APC cannot uh, win this time around. APC cannot do this. You go out. On that day, make your vote count. The moment, the moment um, we've uh, we've always been praying for is literally around the corner. November is not far again, so let's just pray for a better leader and hope that everything goes successful on the eleventh of November, twenty twenty three. So up until then, we we'll keep you posted about um latest news and gist and discussions so do not forget to share your thoughts in our comment section like subscribe and follow us on all social media platform thank you for